Welcome back. Why is there often a spike in heart-related deaths around the holidays? Dr. Amna Ahmed, a cardiologist at Franciscan Health Indianapolis, joins me now to discuss the phenomenon of holiday heart syndrome. Uh, so thank you for joining us. I just want to let thank my you. producers know I can't hear. This isn't working, so just FYI. But I can hear you, and that's what counts. Um, let's talk about holiday heart syndrome. What exactly is it? Holiday heart syndrome was identified in the 1970s and it has to do with uh, more consumption of alcohol over the holidays and development of a particular rhythm called atrial fibrillation which is a relatively common abnormal rhythm and happens more over the holidays when people increase their alcohol consumption. I don't know why I thought this had to do with like being outside and shoveling and stuff. No, there is this uh, perception that uh, winter causes more heart issues. In fact, there is no research that really backs it up. Uh, there have been a lot of hypotheses that cold weather can lead to um, heart attacks, uh, more incidence of heart attacks and heart issues. I think it's mostly to do with the strenuous activities that sometimes people do, like shoveling snow. Uh, but holiday heart syndrome has been identified even in warmer climates. In fact, in New Zealand and in Australia, where it is right now summer in December, there's also an increase in holiday heart syndrome. So it does not have anything to do with weather and it has a lot to do with unfortunately what we put on our glass or what we put on our plate during the the holiday season as we indulge more Wow what are some tips you have for people so um, these are you know like in anything in life you want to consume things in moderation there is a direct dose dependent relationship of alcohol consumption and development of holiday heart we know that one drink uh, increases the risk twofold and two or three drinks increases the risk threefold of developing atrial fibrillation. This is from a study that happened a while ago. So basically we tell patients to drink in moderation. Uh, when they are drinking and consuming more alcohol than they may have uh, usually in their general life, uh, they should be hydrating. So water consumption is very important. And other factors like consumption of sugary and fatty foods, mm -hmm. uh, increased salt intake, so they have to be mindful of salt and I always tell my patients because during the holidays as we're indulging we all start exercising less and being less active so finding time to do that walk or just to de-stress and the other big thing is the psychosocial stress of the holidays and that we're trying to do so much and achieve so much for our family and friends so we need time to kind of unwind yeah. and de-stress and have that yoga moment or the walk or just a few minutes to ourselves kind of self-care. Uh, two things I want to mention uh, are that sometimes when patients travel for the holidays they forget their medications. Oh good point. So the timing of the medication you know they forget to take it on time or they forget to take it with them as they head off to Florida. We get some calls from patients that they want to <laughs> fill it at the Walgreens yeah. in Florida. So I think that's very important as well. And then lastly being very mindful of your symptoms, being listening to your body being mindful and getting help in a timely fashion just because it's the, uh, the holidays don't put off your symptoms thinking I'll deal with it in January deal with it in December and you'll have a merrier and a safer Christmas. Health is one of the most